Hello everyone, we're excited to present the latest update for V-Ray for Maya. Let's dive in and see what's new. Kicking things off with one of the most awaited features, support for Gaussian splats. This innovative new feature allows you to create intricate, highly detailed environments more straightforwardly than ever before. Imagine being able to import real-world point cloud data and seamlessly integrate it with your 3D assets, enhancing the realism of your project significantly. Build entire cityscapes effortlessly and utilize scanned data to achieve accurate reflections, lighting, and captivating camera movements. The new Gaussian splat support takes your renders to the next level, allowing for a level of detail and complexity that was previously hard to achieve. This speeds up asset integration and contextualization, allowing for more time spent on creativity. Building on the benefits of Gaussian splatting, you can now seamlessly switch from other applications and renderers while keeping your material standards consistent thanks to the addition of OpenPBR support. OpenPBR is the latest open shading standard created by Autodesk and Adobe and is hosted by the Academy Software Foundation. The V-Ray material now features an OpenPBR shading mode. Updates include a new layering scheme, a revamped sheen implementation, enhancements to the coat layer, and several other improvements. Continuing the enhancements, one of the exciting new features in this release is the Firefly Removal Tool. With just a simple checkbox, you can easily get rid of those annoying bright spots in your renders. It integrates smoothly to boost the quality of your final sequences, guaranteeing a cleaner and more professional image every time. Next up, an update to Intel's Open Image Denoiser, now at version 2.3, delivers results more quickly and with fewer artifacts. This enhancement means you're getting cleaner, sharper images in less time. Plus, a new pre-filter pass has been added. This pre-filter helps retain more details, leading to sharper and cleaner outcomes. Whether you're dealing with still images or sequences, the updated denoiser ensures your final render is of the highest quality. It works efficiently in the background, letting you focus on creativity while it handles the technicalities. Enhancing your workflow even further, the new V-Ray frame buffer brings significant updates. You can now isolate custom polygonal regions for quicker iteration, reducing the time spent re-rendering parts of your images. These custom render regions give you the ability to concentrate on specific areas without wasting resources on parts that don't need attention. Adding to the power of custom render regions, you can now create unique and artistic renders with the new vignette layer in the V-Ray frame buffer. Customize its shape and apply it to any part of your render for personalized results. With the V-Ray frame buffer, you can now achieve distinct looks and experiment with various color correction adjustments for your final renders, all without needing third-party applications. The built-in filters allow you to quickly and easily apply different settings, while ensuring that your original images remain unaltered. This non-destructive feature gives you the flexibility to refine your images directly within V-Ray, allowing you to enhance their visual appeal without altering the original work. Experience enhanced control over light selects and authoring specific render elements to accommodate a broader range of use cases. With this feature, you can easily isolate shadows that pass through refractions, are visible in reflections, or originate from multiple light sources marked with light tags. This advancement offers unprecedented flexibility, allowing you to fine tune the lighting in your scenes with precision. You can now create more realistic and dynamic lighting effects. Additionally, by isolating and manipulating shadows that interact with different elements, you can achieve a higher level of detail and accuracy in your work. With greater control over light selects and render elements, you're empowered to push the boundaries of your creativity. Accelerate the rendering of Cosmos assets that feature V-Ray light sources and transparent geometry using V-Ray luminaires. This new asset type increases the accuracy of your lighting, making your workflow more efficient and ensuring you achieve high quality results faster. Enjoy smoother, more productive rendering workflows with this powerful enhancement. Support for Chaos Cosmos variants is here. Now you can effortlessly manage and switch between different versions of your assets. This feature offers greater flexibility and control over your asset management workflow. No need for replacements or re-imports, just pure convenience. Simply choose the ideal asset variation to match the look and feel of your scene. Enhance the realism of your lighting scenarios with the upgraded sun and sky model, now featuring support for nautical twilight. This improvement allows you to achieve more lifelike and dynamic lighting in your scenes. Additionally, you can render realistic skies from different observer altitudes, going up to several kilometers. The improved sky model brings versatility and precision to your projects. Whether you're depicting the subtle changes in twilight or the far-reaching view from a high altitude, 
This feature ensures your renders are both accurate and visually stunning. With the new support for Nautical Twilight, you can portray the exact lighting conditions of that unique time of day, adding depth and authenticity to your work. Let's dive into the latest Chaos Scatter improvements, starting with the Look At functionality. This feature makes it easier than ever to create dynamic scenes, such as sunflowers turning to face the sun as it moves across the sky, or crowds of people looking at performers on stage. With Look At, you can automate these behaviors, adding realism and detail without the need for manual adjustments. Next, we have the falloff curve. This tool allows you to fine tune where the effects of look at and altitude are the most pronounced. By adjusting the falloff curve, you can control the strength and focus of these effects with precision. These are just some of the new features in our latest release for V-Ray for Maya. We can't wait for you to experience them and see the boost they bring to your workflow.